Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. It's a beautiful Sunday here in New Hampshire, so I took the day to go take a hike along one of my favorite trails not far from my house. And I love going out in these summer days, enjoying the trails of New Hampshire, enjoying the scenery along the lake, or the pond in this case. And so I put in about five miles today, so as soon as I get off this trail, which is about a mile down the road, I'm going to be all set for a beer, so stick around, and I'll talk to you in a minute. And here I am, back in my own backyard, next to the shady section of my yard, getting ready to have something light after my day of hiking. This is a Foley Brothers from Vermont. This is Foley Brothers Session IPA. It has an alcohol by volume of 4.8% ABV. Foley Brothers has been around a couple of years. Their brews are mainly available in Vermont, though I think they're getting out into Massachusetts some. They're not in New Hampshire yet. This particular bottle has a bottling date of May 27th, 2015. You can also see there is a description here on the back as well. It says here, Session is our lightest beer yet, brewed to be refreshing and hoppy, ideal for any occasion, such as hiking. Keep cool, drink this beer fresh. It's an unfiltered beer. So let me get right into it and open it right up. There we go. I put in about five miles today, as I mentioned, and it wasn't five miles on the trail. I did about two and a half, maybe three miles on that trail where you saw me earlier. I like to walk every morning uh, just to keep myself fit. And uh, so I walked about two and a half miles this morning when I first woke up at breakfast, then I decided to go for a hike on that trail. So give it a pour into the glass. Let's take a look at this. It's an unfiltered one, so it definitely has that murky, milky yellow color. It's mainly a yellow color. Got a big head here too. Um, so uh, kind of a heady beer. But uh, not bad looking. Looks, looks like it's something I'm looking forward to trying. Looks like it's something light to drink, which is what I'm looking for right now. So let's take a sniff. Definitely got some grassy characters going on here. Some floral, a little bit of pine around all that toasted malt character, that toasted biscuit sweetness. But it's the hops that are forward. It's, it's actually uh, more hyped, hopped up than some regular IPAs. It's a session IPA. Sometimes those tend to be lighter, at least the ones I've had. I always have to justify that because some people might say, nah, those kind of beers are like that anyway. But anyway, it's a nice toasted uh, malty character to start with a good floral and uh, pine and grassy character as well for the hot finish. Let's check out the taste. Mm. The body is really light and refreshing, just what I'm looking for now. Just light on the palate, uh, very easy to drink. Very enjoyable in that sense. Mm. The taste, you know, the hops I'm noticing more in the aroma, but I'm still picking up a bitterness in the taste. But the hops I'm picking up more in the aroma, which uh, I find interesting. But I guess that makes sense the way your senses work. You Sometimes what you smell is what you drink or what you eat or whatever. Uh, it can be kind of misleading to some extent. So you get taste buds, but sure. You know, the senses uh, also intermingle with what you smell. So uh, that's my uh, biology lesson for the day. And if I'm wrong, don't blame me. I didn't do well in biology. <laughs> anyway, but back to the beer. It has a nice kind of uh, bitterness going on. There's a sweet, toasty character here at first. And the, the hop character and the flavor isn't so much piney and floral as I got on the nose. It tends to be a little more in the range of uh, grassy. And maybe even more citrusy, maybe almost like a lemon citrus almost. Mm. Yeah, I pick up uh, I pick up that slight lemon tartness. Not a sour character, not super tart, but just that slight lemon zest on top of the grass. And not so much in the pine and florals I picked up on the nose, but all three or four of those are almost mixed together and um, they uh, they merge in with the, the toasted malts in this beer to make this a fairly enjoyable, sessionable IPA, easy to drink, perfect for a day like today after I've worked up a bit of a sweat and enjoyed uh, the outdoors and now I'm sitting down to relax. So it's a good way to kind of finish my, my day here on a Sunday. So I'm enjoying this beer. It's a good one from Foley Brothers. I've enjoyed what I've had from them. Their beers are they're starting to get out more, as I said, and I'm starting to see more and more offerings from them. So um, when I get to Vermont, or if I get to Mass where I'm starting to see some of these beers, I try to pick them up. Hopefully they're going to come to Vermont, some, uh, New Hampshire someday. So that's a hint. Okay, Foley Brothers, if you're watching this. Anyway, uh, that'll do it for today. This is the Foley Brothers Session IPA. 
Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.